In our previous videos, we have seen the idea of double integration and the ideas of iterated integration. And we've been thinking about these as volumes, right? If our function f of x comma y is a function where z is positive over this rectangular region, we are calculating a volume, right? We can also use these ideas to understand what happens if we integrate over a rectangle where my function is both positive and a negative. These values can work out negative. Fubini's theorem in its first form relates the double integral and the iterated integral um, for continuous functions over rectangular regions. If f of xy is continuous throughout the rectangle r, where r is a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b, and c is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to d, then the double integral is equal to either iterated integral. This allows me to evaluate every double integral as an iterated integral. And even better than that, we get to choose the order of integration. And sometimes we'll see that the order of integration really won't matter for us in terms of difficulty. And sometimes we'll see that one of them makes the integrals way easier to use. So Fubini's theorem will be important for us because it gives us a way of evaluating our double integrals. In our next video, we'll do an example.